I have this um, HR28 from 2014 and it has very interesting error code. Well, not error code, but uh, default. So if I'm going to drive, I have no drive. It loses drive. It's kind of trying to drive and keeps cutting out and it's giving this warning. Okay? So it's giving this warning here. Every time I'm trying to drive. But what I found very interesting here, look, if I look on the diagnostic box and I go to calibration angles, and if I look into channel one and channel two, X and Y, once I'm starting to drive, yeah, I'm gonna do speed one now. If I'm starting to move the joystick forward, let me see if I can show this one. the joystick yeah so if I move the joystick forward slowly very slowly look angles are changing as well so channel 2 is rising if I do steering look what it's doing I go, st I go steer to the left and that's affecting the angle sensor reading. So I'm not sure what's going on here. What I will do, I will measure the voltage on the channel to sensor output on the X axis for now. And I want to see what sort of the voltage I'm having. Is that actually the voltage going high or just the PLC seeing the voltage or seeing some random readings that so I have my negative connected onto ground rail. So right here we have all these ground rails. So it's all negatives here. So I have my black of multimeter here and the red one goes into the wire called BAX right here. Okay, so BAX2. And that's reading now. The machine is on now. And that's reading 2.472 volts, okay? So what I will try to do now, I'm gonna try to drive it, and I want to see how high that voltage is gonna go. I'm reading on here, channel two, and uh, X axis, okay? So I will go to do slow drive, and I'm gonna put my, Multimeter right here. Any better? A bit better. It's fine. So, oh, left the key switch to the base control. Never leave the key switch to the ground controls because you have to come back and change it to the cage controls. Let's start again. So, multimeter. Uh, so we've got the multimeter, we've got the diagnostic module and the joystick. So, let me drive forward first. All right, yeah. So, I'm going to drive forward. And I do have the voltage in five volts. That's why it's actually, so what I'm seeing on the box is correct. The voltage is going higher. For some reason it's going to five volts. And uh, because it's going to five volts, it's throwing up the sensor error. All right, yeah, because I think this sensor output is between 0.5 and a 4.5. So the output has to be in that range. So if the voltage is below 0.5 volt, then we know the sensor is in the fault. 
and if the voltage is above 4.5 then we know the sensor is in the fault that's how the PLC is uh, reading the voltages and how the PLC is detecting the error of the sensor so at the moment only when we're driving the voltage is going up to 5 volts hmm, interesting not too sure why it's doing that so what I will try to do now I think what I may gonna try, I'm may gonna try to swap the sensors, just to swap the cables on the sensors, so I can actually see if this is a problem coming out from the sensor itself, or is a problem from somewhere else. What I did, I gone up on the links and just to get access to the sensor. So let me put my torch here. So this is my two sensors that I'm reading the voltage from. So what I will do, I will try to swap them over, um, just the cables, um, and just to see if that's gonna make any difference, okay? So by swap, swapping the cables, I'm, I am expecting the sensor number one to be in a fold, and the sensor number two to start to behave as it should be. So I will swap those cables over and I will try to drive again from the cage and we're gonna see the voltage. And I will try to drive it, let's see. So before I had the channel 2 going up and the voltage going to 5 volts and now if I'm going to drive channel 1. So now the channel 1 in fault. But look, I can drive it. Really, really strange. Really strange behavior. Never seen it before. But anyway, it's interesting. So, I think it's a fault in the sensor. Just swapped this sensor with this sensor. So, I think this is the faulty one. And that was giving us a fault now on the channel one. So, let's bring the machine down and I will try to drive it now. And hopefully that's going to work fine. Okay, so I couldn't calibrate angles. I couldn't calibra calibrate angles with uh, my newer version of this diagnostic box. Don't know why, uh, but uh, this is my older box. And uh, what I will do here, I will do calibration now. It's showing zero now, but this is happening because it's been calibrated. I tried it before. I turned the camera on, but you normally go F to OK, and then you go four. Seven, one, seven. Okay, and then it shows it's calibrate. It shows that it's calibrating. It's flashing here, and uh, all the values goes down to zero, and that means it's being calibrated. Okay, so what I will do now, I will test the drive a bit more just to see if it's working fine. But um, yeah, the fault was with the angle sensor one of the angle sensors of the chassis and the new sensor is fitted on and everything seems to be okay now.